plasma cutting, it is a very simple process, but you want to be as comfortable as possible when you are cutting. For instance, you might want to use your left hand if you're right-handed to really get a nice area above your torch or above your workpiece to be able to pull any way you would like to and bridge with this hand. One of the important things to remember when you are plasma cutting is speed. As you can see, the faster that I went, some of those sparks were flying on top of the metal. That's too fast. You want to make sure that your heat effect zone is minimized, but you want to make sure that that speed is just the right speed to keep those sparks underneath the piece of material. And as you can see, when you're done, you get a nice smooth cut, not a whole lot of dross, no warping at all. What I'd like to show you now is just a little bit thicker material because our plasma cutters do cut thicker material as well. Some things to remember is when you're using an extended tip like this, you want to hold a little bit of a standoff and get as close to that material as possible. Again, put your finger underneath the safety. Get close, pull, make sure that you have this hand as a guide and kind of trace that cut out. On thicker material as well, you want to hold the standoff when possible. That'll make your, your tip and your electro last a little bit longer. So as I'm following this cut along, at the end you'll see I want to stop and I want to roll a little bit to make sure that our severs that piece and then follow my cut all the way through. To demonstrate the proper speed, I'll cut this quarter inch and just watch how the arc penetrates the top and comes out the bottom. It should be about a 15 to 20 degree angle. Now with most machines, when you're cutting into the top of its capacity, you will get dross on this, as you can see. But the piece should just snap right off. And the dross comes off very, very easily. One snap of another piece of metal or a chipping hammer, and you've got yourself a nice cut. Okay, to pierce metal, there's two different ways. We showed you before on thin gauge material, you can lay that torch right down on the material and pull the trigger. When you get a little bit thicker material, there is a way to do that without damaging your consumables. You want to start at about a 45 degree angle, start that arc and roll into that until that pierces the material. I'll demonstrate that right now for you. I was able to pierce the material and as well conserve my consumables as opposed to drilling a hole with a steel bed. The plasma process offers a great way to cut bolt holes. All you gotta do is pull the trigger, pierce, and cut that round hole. It saves you a lot of time and energy.